Hallo Leute, welcome back to Juno Cycle German. Um, wir sind jetzt auf Kapitel 7, so das Wetter, Teil 1, das Wetter. Ich hoffe, dass, alle, um, dass ihr alle gut seid und dass ihr macht das okay, dass ihr doing okay uh, mit, mit, uh, mit Kurs und dass es nicht so viele Probleme gibt. Ich hoffe, dass ihr alle die Grammatik versteht und die uh, Vokabeln versteht, okay? So, just hope that you're getting on okay and that you're understanding the grammar and vocabulary okay. Um, Wiederholung, Wiederholung ist die beste Dinge zu machen. The best thing to do is repetition. Und sprechen, sprechen, sprechen. Und es ist nicht eine schlechte Idee. It's not a bad idea, um, immer so zum Beispiel deutsche Radio zu hören und um, vielleicht es gibt so viele Serie jetzt uh, und Sendungen auf Netflix. There's lots of uh, different series and uh, programs in Netflix, dass wir jetzt auf Deutsch uh, sehen kann, that we can we can look at in in German. So nur etwas uh, so nachdenken, nachzudenken, so just something to think about. Okay, um, so los geht's dann. Wir sind auf Kapitel 7, Teil 1, das Wetter. So, wir sind hier, uh, Kapitel 7, Chapter 7, Weather. Und wir machen dann heute, wir machen a little bit of learning at the end of this lesson. You should be able to ask about the weather. So, how is the weather today? And so on. Understand different weather words. So, it's cold, it's warm, it's raining, it's hailing, it's snowing, and so on. The sun is shining, those kind of words. No, the seasons auf Deutsch. So wir machen der Frühling, der Sommer, der Herbst und der Winter. The four seasons. And learn about clothes. Because wir machen die Kleidung jetzt, weil wir über das Wetter sprechen. So because we're speaking about the weather, we need to know what kind of clothes do we need for the weather. Okay? And with that, we have the verb tragen. It's a regular verb. You'll be happy to know. However, it's slightly irregular. So, we covered slightly irregular verbs in grammar before, but there's another one that does follow the present tense um, rules. And you should be thinking about what those rules are as a recap, but there's a slight difference and we'll, you'll see what that is. Okay, those gates. So, wie ist das Wetter? How is the weather? Fragen, the question, wie ist das Wetter? Antwort, es ist... Oder, so you could say it is, or you could also say das Wetter is, the weather is. Sonnig, windig und kalt. Okay, so there's some examples there to, to get us starting off. Es ist sonnig, es ist windig und es ist kalt. You can look out uh, the window now and maybe decide, is it sunny, windy, or and it, is it cold? Or es ist warm, it's warm. Okay, so... Feel free to take a pause, practice your pronunciation, take this down, a question and an answer. Wie ist das Wetter? Es ist oder das Wetter ist sonnig, windig oder kalt oder beide, both. Yes, we have mehr, so we have more words now. Okay, mehr Wörter, immer so. Das Wetter, you can say das Wetter ist oder es ist, one or the other. So, es ist heiß, it's hot. Es ist sonnig, it is sunny. Es ist kalt, it's cold. Es ist eisig, it is um, icy. Es ist wolkig, it's cloudy. Es ist trocken, it is dry. Und es ist windig. So, a couple of those words look like the English, so that's good to remember. It's important to remember the W uh, in German, auf Deutsch, is pronounced like a V. So, windig and not windig. Wolkig, not wolkig, okay? V all the time when you see W. Okay. This slide is a little bit different because we don't use S ist. And you don't, you, you just use S, okay? So, this is for only the words that go with s and not s ist so s regnet it's raining s regnet s litzt 
it's thundering outside. Es blitzt. Es donnert. It's thunder. It's sorry. Es blitz is it's lightning. Es donnert is uh, it's thundering. And you could use both at the same time. So you could say es donnert und blitz. It's thundering and lightning. Blitz is thunder. Donner is thunder. Or blitz is lightning. Donner is thunder. Blitz is lightning. Donner is thunder. Okay. Es schneit. It's snowing. Und die letzte dann, es hagelt. It's hailing, like hailstones. It's hailing outside. Es hagelt. So nochmal dann for pronunciation wise, Aussprache, immer, immer Aussprache um, zu üben, zu practice. Es schneit, es regnet, es hagelt, es blitzt und es donnert. And don't forget, you could say es donnert und blitzt. It's, it's thundering and lightning. Because you usually don't have one without the other. Okay, very important to remember that these words only go with S. Whereas the last slide we had S ist. S ist heiß, S ist trocken, S ist wolkig, S ist eisig, S ist windig, S ist sonnig, S ist kalt. Aber mit diesem dann ist es nur S. So S regnet, S donnert und blitz, S schneit und S hagelt. Okay, so it's very important to know the difference when to say S. When to say es ist. Okay, so jetzt du bist dran. Wie ist das Wetter in Irland? What is the weather like in Ireland? So I want you to take a moment now, pause the video, answer that question, write it down and answer it yourself. What do you think? Wie ist das Wetter in Irland? Es ist und es. So now we're moving on to our Jahreszeiten, the the Jahreszeiten, the seasons. So we should know already from our grammar section that the seasons and months and days of the year, uh, months of the year and days of the week are all masculine words. So we should expect to see der for all of them. So wir haben der Frühling, the spring, der Winter. The winter, der summer, the summer, and der und der Herbst. So I would say only der Frühling und der Herbst sind die sind nicht so einfach. They're not so easy. But der Winter, der Summer sind einfach, weil sie auf Englisch klingt. They sound like the English. Und sie auf Englisch um, aussieht. They look like the English as well. So you have winter, it's not winter, it's winter. So der winter und der summer. Don't forget, all nouns in German take a capital. So these would all have a capital letter at the beginning of their word. Okay, good. Yes, we're having noch eine Frage. We have another question coming up here. Wie viel grad ist es? Wie viel grad ist es? What is the temperature? Okay, the Frage then, wie viel Grad ist es? Antwort, es ist, nochmal, it is, es ist, 19 Grad, 18 Grad, or 10 Grad. So these are a couple of examples. It is 19 degrees, 18 degrees, 10 degrees. So, wie viel Grad ist es? What's the temperature like? Another way to remember would be it's the same way of asking what time is it? Wie viel Uhr ist es? So wie viel Uhr ist es? What time is it? Wie viel Grad ist es? So Grad is the, the word that stands for degrees and also temperature. So the liter literal translation is how much temperature is it? Okay. How many temperature is it? Es ist 19 Grad. It's 19 degrees, 18 degrees. 10 degrees. How many degrees is it? Is the literal translation. Okay. So, jetzt du bist dran. It's your turn. Wie viel Grad ist es jetzt? So, pause the video and see, can you find out what the temperature is at the moment where you are? Okay. Wie viel Grad ist es jetzt? So, es ist number and Grad. Jetzt ist uh, die Bekleidung, that's the clothes, okay? Um, es gibt so viele hier, es gibt so viele Kleidung hier, so there's gonna be lots of clothes popping up here. 
and you should practice your Aussprache and write them down. Feel free to be as creative as you want to um, with your with writing them down into your copy. If you want to draw pictures, um, it's great using color, anything you like, and um, to help you remember the clothes. Okay. There's also an important thing to remember, and that's the gender of each noun. That um, that is important to know. And this particular page has made it easier to separate the masculine, feminine, and neuter and plural uh, words. So feel free to take a pause, take down, copy down these words, and I'll um, pronounce them all so that you can practice your pronunciation. So de bekleidung, the clothes we have, we have der mantel, der pullover, or oder der pulli, der trainungsanzug, der hut, der badeanzug, der regenmantel, der rock, der schal, der regenschirm und der gürtel. So these are all masculine nouns, okay? Der mantel, the coat, der pullover oder der pulli for short is a jumper, der trainungsanzug, tracksuit. So can you think of what the word for suit is if trainungsanzug is a suit? Der Anzug is a suit, okay? Der Hut, Hat, der Badeanzug, bathing suit, we have the word suit again. Der Regen Mantel, we have mantle there, so rain, Regen, mantle, jacket, a coat, raincoat. Der Rock, a skirt, der Schal, a, uh, a scarf. Take note of der rock, a uh, skirt you would think might be feminine, but it's actually a masculine word. Der rock is skirt, masculine. Der regen schirm, umbrella. Der gürtel, belt. Yes, we're having down the feminine, the feminine words. Okay, die hose, pants, or trousers. Die kurze hose, shorts. Die bluse, a blouse. Die jacke. Uh, the jacket, the jeans, and it's not jeans, that's actually you pronounce it the, the English way, the jeans, um, the jeans, the cap, cap, the cravata, uh, a tie, the mutze is a woolly hat, the badehose, a uh, bathing shorts or bathing trunks, the sun and brilla, sunglasses, das and we're having a neutral, so neutral words. Das T-shirt, a T-shirt. Das Hemd, a shirt. Das Sweatshirt, like a hoodie. Das Kleid, the dress. Das Kopftuch, okay, hier. Yeah. Die Schuhe, then the plural ones, so plural um, nouns here. We have die Schuhe, die Stiefel, die Turnschuhe. Runners, the hand shoe gloves and the socken uh, socks. Okay, so you'll have to take some time to be able to learn these as much as you can to be able to, to, to talk about them and be able to understand what other people are talking about when they um, are speaking about clothes. So, we're in yet self das verb tragen. Okay. Tragen to wear. And as I said earlier, it's a slightly irregular verb. So it still follows the present tense rule. So have a little think about what those rules are. Can you recall them? So there was three things you needed to do. We have the first thing and that is to get a verb. So we have our verb and it's tragen. What do you do then? You drop the en and you're left with the stem. So you're left with trag. And then you, for the third thing you do, third and final thing is you add your, you add your regular present tense endings. So with tragen, it should follow the same rule and only do und er sie es man will be different. So here it is. Ich trage. That follows the same rule. Du trägst. Er sie es man trägt. Wir tragen, ihr tragt sie und sie tragen. So it has followed all of the regular verb endings. The only difference is that do and er 
there's an A umlaut, an A umlaut, okay? And that happens with certain verbs. And again, it's just that they become slightly irregular. And as you progress through the course and come across new verbs, you'll see a pattern of some slightly irregulars that follow this idea. Another one that is quite common, you may have seen it already, is faren. It still follows this, the, the rules. However, there's an a um now. So it'd be ich fahre, du fährst, er ist yes man fährt. Wir fahren, er fährt, ziehen sie fahren. So tragen is the exact same. It becomes a umlaut for du und er. Jetzt, was trägst du? What are you wearing? So the question, was trägst du? Antwort, ich trage. Einen Pullover. Eine Jacke oder I'm ein Hemd. So, this refers back to our grammar that talked about the nominative case and the accusative case. So, the verb tragen follows accusative case. Okay, quick recap. Nominative case is the subject of the sentence and the accusative is the direct object. If you, you should be thinking of your tables. Der die das die, den die das die. Und ein, eine, ein. Einen, eine, ein, okay, for your masculine, feminine, neuter words. The masculine word is the only one that changes. So it, it doesn't, it, it might be ein pull over, but when it's in the accusative tense, or accusative case, it's einen pull over. So ich trage einen pull over, eine Jacke, ein Hemd. So you need to be careful about knowing your genders for the ver for the words for to do with clothes okay jacke i know is feminine hemmed i know is neutral okay so feel free to pause and take note of that you can do a little star and say refer back to the grammar on nominative and accusative if you could if you can't remember if you don't understand what i'm saying about that okay <clears throat> Die Wiederholung dann. Can you answer the following questions? Wie ist das Wetter? Wie viel Grad ist das? Und was trägst du? Can you recall different weather words? So wir hatten, wir hatten, wir hatten sonnig, kalt, heiß, eisig, es donnert, es blitz und so on. Do you remember the seasons in German? And can you say different clothes? as well as what gender they are. It's very important. <clears throat> so, let's check in. How are we doing? So, I can describe the weather in German. I understand the different weather words. I know the seasons in German. I can describe what I wear and others. Don't forget the pronouns and your present tense. So, if you can say, ich trage einen Pulli, you should also be able to say, er trägt einen Pulli. He is wearing a jumper. Um, oder wir tragen einen Pulli. We're wearing a jumper. Uh, sie tragen einen Pulli. They are wearing a jumper. And so on. Don't forget about your other pronouns. I understand different clothes in German and their genders. And I can ask and answer what the temperature is like. Okay, so that's for Alice and for heute. Um, we're saying on Snockmal, bis zum nächsten Mal. Dankeschön. Tschüss.